So New York City Fashion Week is in full swing and our Beauty Buzz correspondent has been at the Big Apple, in the Big Apple, around the Big Apple, all around <laughs> the Big Apple and behind the scenes and done a report for us. Joining us now is fashion model and style expert Joanna House with highlights from this huge yes. event. You were it's all really in huge. your element there, weren't you? Yes, I had been a few times, but it's been a while. I never did it at Lincoln Center. So I tried to, with limited access, because I just was there for the weekend, did about 20 shows in three days. Wow. And it took about 80 hours behind the scenes just to get the clearance, the registration, to get all of the logistics planned out between the PR firms and just between the designers and asking them permission, presenting myself to them and saying what I'm going to be doing and who I'm with and yada 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 and then you get there and you can't believe it you just can't believe the excitement and, and just crazy, all the people that I'm are there sure. ready to enjoy with you so Awesome. Well, why don't you walk us through some of the things that you yes. did? I know you're going to have a much bigger thing. Yes, you got we'll a lot have of video more on-site coverage at a later date because it is right. for spring uh, 2015. But for instance, so we hit up Carolina Herrera's show. This is probably the hardest show. This is Badgley Mishka. I'm sorry, we'll do Carolina later. But Badgley Mishka's show. So as you can see, it's really about being elegant. It's about being flowy. It's a lot of the pastels. Lavender is going to be big. Pistachio baby blue, all those colors are going to be huge, especially thinking about prom, if you're thinking about weddings, if you're thinking about any sort of dressy occasions, this is a great palette, and that's why I kind of chose this one, because I thought it was across the board something that we could be wearing here wherever we go. Love it. You got some for the men? Well, yes. Well, first we have to go back to the elegance. So we've got okay. Carolina Herrera, um, which also was a gorgeous collection as well. And then Libertine, which we covered, which is more rock and roll. So Libertine is really getting big now. They're kind of a spin-off Alexander McQueen, just really fun. And then I tapped into a lot of the men's shows. So I made sure not to exclude the men. So I probably hit about three different men's shows. And Libertine was showing. There was a bunch of other men's designers. A lot of them I'd never heard of, so it was new for me because that's not my element. And you only hear of the big ones. But right. to see the these young designers rock and rolling it out How with their Good. collections Saw amazing some, some lots of stuff. leather so I don't know if we can oh, wear yeah, that here in the in. spring but Not lots so of leather much. like tops and pants for the guys and very like I don't know Steven Tyler meets Axl Rose meets Ralph Lauren it was kind of like all of it together um, in, in some sort of like triangle very cool and then you went backstage so yes. I know you've been backstage yes. as a model you've gone through this craziness before but how was it being the funny on thing the flip is, side now so so the face chart here actually the designer asked if I would walk the show his name is Orlando Santana he's from Mexico and I said I wasn't because the girls were so tiny I mean they were like teeny weeny negative zero and I thought if I show up there I'm gonna look like a whale so I just didn't want to even try it so then but there he is they're doing the face charts right there and that is the key um, makeup artist basically told his assistant I want you to do the face charts for everybody in the show so they know what to do on the models um, and it was just so incredible to kind of see the process because we, we read about it so much but what do we really know wh what really goes on so we're gonna cover that at a later date and I'm gonna actually be talking to the lead artists and the designers and where they get their inspiration from. And we got a little bit of, of you backstage, right? Yes. Do we have some photos? Yeah, or we do. Like we do. I mean, photos. We, we lots so is of this is this the so typical is, thing? Is this what really, we see? It really is the tiniest, the maybe 400 square feet. So there's not a lot of clearance. You've got to really know someone. A good thing I lived in New York for so long. I have a lot of connections with great PR and friends, and they're like, okay, you want to come back? But if I was just a random reporter off the street, it'd be very hard. So that was the nails for some of the shows. We covered everything from Carolina Herrera to Anna Sui to, <clears> to <throat> Betsy Johnson. Um, it, it was not. Stop. And I had my friends stay behind and capture all the shows. So we're going to have every single show that was at Fashion Week. We're going to have access to that. Very cool. So uh, tee us up a little bit. Give us a little tease of what, okay. what we're going to see. Yeah. So coming up, I mean, we're going to see the, the trends, the designs. But really what we need to talk about is the whole process of the registration. Because I brushed in that in the beginning. Right. But when you talk about the registration, so this is how it works. You go. You get registered online. They decide whether or not you get accepted. You have to write two letters. You have to be approved. Show your work. These are the designers. No, no. This to is just to be, get a pass to even walk the grounds of fashion really? week. So then from there, they send you about a 10-page list of all the designers, and you have to e reach out to each individual PR company that represents them. And <clears> then <throat> they decide if they're going to let you in. And then you get an invitation, and then you go to the show, and then it's like, it's just like it non starts all over. That's again. why I said it took me like literally like a whole month just to be able to be so organized and also to represent Jacksonville in a big way and say that, hey, we're professional. We're doing this the right way. We're coming in. And um, so I hope I hope to make us proud. Good work. Thank you. Out doing your thing. Flipping the script a little bit. Yeah. Thank you so much, Yuana. If you. you have any beauty, style, or fashion questions for Yuana or you want to sponsor our Beauty Buzz segment, just email her at living at firstcoastnews.com. You can also follow Yuana on Instagram at Yomania.